Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 28 for hotel management system in Django with Next.js. In this video, we will perform the delete functionality in our booking list, right? So when we delete the booking, it will automatically delete the related invoice, right? So we will uh, do this functionality in this video. So let's start to do that. Okay, so let's open this page and uh, create a function, right? So let's open the visual editor and uh, first of all we will open the front end so we have uh, let's see the url this is booking history right so booking history and this is the booking history page correct so in the booking history we have a table and uh, in this table we have a delete button right so what we need to do first of all we will make it button right here we will make it button and this uh, no need for href we will say type so type should be button and then we will say on click and uh, we will perform the delete functionality and here we will pass id so delete booking correct this is delete booking and in this we will pass the booking id correct so we will pass booking id so we need to create this function right so here just here we'll create this arrow function right so this is the format for arrow function we create here and this will accept the booking id which we are passing and just now let's see the console right so we just need to uh, show this booking id right so in this console we just show the booking id right so let's see here right and uh, if i click on this let's remove this unnecessary step click on this this is showing undefined okay so this is delete booking we are saying delete booking on click button dot id uh, we'll say pk i think id is not here let's try pk primary key uh, this is also saying undefined okay so what we have in the booking then so what we have in the booking so let's uh, see in the network tab we have sorry so this is booking history response uh, sorry this one right so this is our results right so in the result we have a username we have a room number user total guest room okay it's not returning the booking id correct so we'll go to the serializer we'll open the serializer here from the back end from the rooms and from the serializer so i hope we are uh, which which url we are uh, saying for this 64 header uh, my booking 64 okay so let's see here my bookings right so if i go to the views okay booking serializer so here we oh sorry booking serializer here okay so we just need to send the id correct so once we send the id then it should work so let's go to console check here delete still it is saying oh i understand because we are passing again this should be id right so when we click on this it is showing 20 okay so with this 20 we will delete the data correct so let's uh, implement the server functionality then all right so here you can see that when we click on this delete it is showing the uh, related uh, booking id correct so what we can do now in our serializer we are passing here uh, everything let's uh, view the models also so we have this booking model uh, room number and everything user this 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 okay okay so <clears throat> uh, what we can do now uh, we can create first of all create a url right uh, create a url here right so let's copy this one and this one and we'll say delete booking and here we will pass booking id right 
or we can simply say pk primary key and here we will say delete booking correct so this is the one thing now let's create the view for this like we are calling here right we'll create a destroy view for the bookings so here we have and from the url we'll copy this one and paste it here and we will say destroy we need to import the destroy view you can combine the destroy and everything uh, in a single uh, in a single api also right so but here i'm uh, separating everything so we have destroy api view here so booking serialize everything is okay so url is here delete booking we just need to pass this one uh, when we click uh, here okay we need to create this kind of function here right so right now we have just uh, created the uh, right now we just created the things and uh, for uh, for the delete we need to pass the delete method because this uh, destroy api view work only with the delete method right so let's create function and uh, use the fetch api to delete the things with the delete method okay okay so we created the view serializer url right we just need to uh, we just need to uh, perform the action right so what if i do here if i copy this one uh, no need to copy this one okay so let's this thing right and uh, no we can do one thing here right and we can call this right we need to define this a synchronized function okay oh sorry no need to here it will here okay fetch uh, with the we need to define the method this should be delete right and uh, we are passing the booking id so this should be booking id it means primary key and whatever the response is coming we will see the response in the console so let's see the response here so we'll see here data right so let's try to perform this action and let's see what response is uh, showing when we click on this okay so if i click here if i click here uh, nothing is happening and if i click here okay it is just console the data oh sorry uh, i'm not sure why this is not refreshing as soon as i'm changing here but i will look at that okay so network and click here okay so this is booking history this is my booking response delete response delete method not allowed okay so it is saying delete method not allowed but uh, in the view uh in the view we have passing the destroy api view so it should allow let's see that okay so i understood the issue the issue is actually we are passing the wrong url here from the delete function it should be delete booking right maybe you noticed and but if you notice then please add in your comment right and uh, here i will request you to please add your comment okay anyone who is watching the video please add your comment and like this video your one like one comment is lot for me right so okay so now uh, when we click on this we it will not response the data it will not ret return re response but res if response dot okay then we can alert uh, data has been deleted right and uh, we can see here else uh oops something went wrong something went wrong right and if data is related we need to uh, fetch the, you we need to uh, run this use effect again right so how we can do that uh, we'll copy this one right and uh, we'll create a one state more it's a boolean so proceed uh, delete right proceed delete here we will say proceed delete right and here and default it will be false right and this pro uh, our use effect will depend on this right so whenever 
so default it will run and when we change the status of this then it will again run right and when we change the status of this when we delete the data okay so here i uh, will say this one proceed delete true okay so now if i see here and uh, console let's see delete okay so here you can see data has been deleted and uh, everything is working correct so let's delete this one also so deleted not deleted why this is not showing here again okay so data is deleted but uh, okay booking history is not working because no data is here okay so set proceed related true and uh, yeah this uh, proceed lead is uh, working okay data is fetching all right so <clears throat> we implemented the booking uh, uh sorry we implemented the delete functionality right you can try that okay so if you are uh, uh, learning from the uh, learning from the videos i hope you have all the code if you don't have the code then please uh, download the code here is a small uh, you can say appreciation so you can add and i will provide you the code maybe this may be uh, uh, this may be large for uh, someone but uh, i think this is work for this project this type of project okay so uh, but if you are learning then you can also create a code from the youtube right but here i will request you to please leave your comment uh, your name your city anything you want and please leave one like right thank you so much for watching the video let's meet in the next video hopefully next we will create the payment section for this project right so i hope uh, you will like this video and please add your comment please add your likes i aim that uh, whenever uh, i aim that uh, views total views equal to total like and total comments this is my aim so try to you know as much uh, you share subscribe like okay do all these things okay so thank you so much and keep watching code artisan lab Thank you.